Robert Bennett of Classic Cake, and this is your Fox Food Bite. Today I'm going to be making potato sponge cake. This is just a delicious uh, sponge cake, no flour. It's very good for the gluten-free people. It's good for Passover. It's basically a separated egg cake using potato starch instead of flour. First I start off with eight egg yolks. Now to properly separate an egg, you don't do it on the edge of the bowl. You can get tiny little micro pieces of shell into it. You should crack it on a hard flat surface, peel the two pieces aside, and then just like that. To the eight egg yolks, add three quarters cup sugar. Now I'm adding the juice of one lemon. Now the zest of one lemon and one eighth teaspoon of salt. Now I'm gonna sift the five and a half ounces of potato starch. You can get this at any supermarket. I'm gonna add this to the egg yolk mixture. Now I'm gonna add this on low speed. And continue mixing for about another two minutes. You can turn up the mixture now. While this is mixing, I'm, I'm gonna prepare my pans. A little nonstick spray. I'm gonna coat it with potato starch. And lastly, I'm gonna whip my egg whites. This is eight egg whites. I'm using a balloon whisk, which incorporates the most amount of air. And they whip up quicker in, egg, in uh, copper as well. The reason copper is really good for egg whites because copper and egg whites share a common ion. In a molecular sense, you get a stronger meringue. Now to the salt peak egg whites, I'm gonna add one third cup sugar. Whip it a little bit longer. I'm going to fold everything together. Very nice and thick. I'm going to take the egg yolk mixture into the whites. Now just fold together. Now you just want to fold gently, let it fall onto itself. This is preserving the, the lightness. You don't want to beat the air out of it. I want to fold this just so it becomes homogenous. I don't see any more streaks of egg white in there. Now I divide this among the two pans. You can just eye it if you like. Now preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit. If you have a convection oven, then use 325. Now into the oven. Here it comes out clean, you're good to go. You want to turn them out of the pans quickly. You don't want them sitting in the pans baking any longer. This is a very light sponge. Now this is good just by itself, just a little confectioner sugar. Uh, you can put fresh fruit on it. You can soak it with some uh, strawberry syrup and lay it with whipped cream to make a strawberry shortcake. And it's gluten free. I like to eat it just by itself. Mm. Nice and light. I'm Robert Bennett of Classic Cake, and this has been your Fox Food Bite.